earth is crying out, where is God? See the game in that? We write books about it. Where is God? Where is God? Where is God? Where is God? But the prophets always say, where is man? Where are you? Where are you, Adam? Where are you, Eve? Hiding behind your addiction? Thinking that you're just too shameful to be with me? No. You're hiding behind your longing to be in charge. And the father's saying, the son, see, he broke all that stuff. And he says, mercy gives us the, not only the opportunity, but the spoken permission that breaks that power of self-control. It says, come on, be with the Father. He wants to walk with you. So I see the Father walking through all the communities, the Spirit of the Father walking through every community, through every bar, through every place, through every church saying, are you willing to give up control and come walk with me? gave us the way, the way that leads to the Father. Amen? Yeah. We have come. Oh. Yeah. We want to walk with you, Father. You come. He comes to make all things new, right? And, uh, yeah. He's like bringing, he's bringing things together. He's bringing all the denominations see like in Walter Brueggemann says it this way he says in the 17th century science you know scientists were almost looked at like artists you know like oh those are crazy people out up in the corner you know and when they came to to to, to power in the 17th century uh, the church began to kind of get scared and so what they did was they created absolutes and began to disregard relationship and because of the splits, especially the split of the church in the last 100 years, we've even seen more. There were certainly splits in the church, but nothing like we've seen in the last 100 years. And 
maybe in the last 50 years even the most we've seen. And the splitting of the church, fragmenting of the church, what we've created is just a lot of hmm, doors. That's what I love about the name of this church, Open Door. Because it kind of has the concept that the door is already open. But what we've created in the church is, if you, the door has a name, it's an absolute. Instead of Jesus being the truth, we've made all these ideas about him the truth. And so we put that as the absolute on the door. And, it, and, and, and so, so, so we've turned it. Instead of what Jesus says is he never gives the disciples absolutes. He just says, if you want to have fidelity relationship with me, well, come follow me. And the more you're with me, the more you be with me, well, then this other stuff will just happen. We'll have absolute conversations along the way, you see. We'll have all sorts of conversations. We'll even have arguments. But see, the doorway in is relationship. And I feel like we're living in a time where we're, we're beginning to, we're beginning to, break down those divisions, see, that, 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 that we've got Catholics and Lutherans and Calvinists and God's really saying, hey, let's break down that idea that absolute is the way into relationship. Relationship is our way to start talking at the communion table. And then you know what we do? We look at Jesus and we see what he thinks of our absolute. Right? Amen. Freedom! <laughs> anyway, oh man. This little song says, uh, We come to the mountain of the living God. There's no better resurrected son that's coming. Because Jesus is already resurrected. He's given us the power of life and the resurrection. It's already done. So we have, right now, in this moment, come to the mountain of the living God. For the last 2,000 years, we've had access to the mountain of the living God. See? It's not something coming, it's something that is. Oh man, take my hand now. Let us walk together. Four years we have labored. Vineyards apart. The distance between us. I can count for the problem. Oh, suffering, how beautiful you are. We have come to the mountain of the living God. Take a good look around us. What we see is what we've got. There's no better day coming. There's no brighter morning sun. We have come to the mountain of the living God. Everybody. Suffering, how beautiful you are. 